Well, hello everyone. Or <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Oh, do you know what? I literally just needed to sit down and do my chatty video with you guys. And I actually just went in completely blind with today's makeup tutorial. I had a clue what I was going to do. And I just let my mind run free. This is the makeup book that I came up with today. So if you want to know how I created this makeup tutorial, and if you want to stay and have a wee chit chat with me today, then just keep on watching. Wow. <laughs> I look wild. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, I've just started off with my eyebrows. I just went in and used the Makeup Revolution Soap Brow. So I'm now going to go in with the LA Girl Brow Pomade. And it's in the shade Blonde. And then I'm just going to use this pomade just to draw a line just underneath my brow. I'm just going to be taking the Urban Decay Brow Blade. This is the one that has the pencil on one side and then the ink stain on the other. And I'm going to be using the shade Taupe. So I'm now just going to use the pencil side. I'm just going to start like dragging that up just to fill in any of those like wee sparse areas just at the front. I'm actually really enjoying my eyebrows at the minute because I've been like, growing them out and I've been using stuff on them and it's honestly been working so so well. I've been using castor oil just in case anybody is wondering. Once I get to the tail of my brow I'm also still going to use the pencil and I'm just going to flick. I'm just going to be a wee bit more light handed once I get to the tail. This is the step that always scares the life out of me. Recently I have been going on with the Colourpop liquid liner and it is the brown shade. I'm just going to start here and I'm just going to like flick outwards. Obviously I'm just going to go really really light handed because with this being a liquid liner it's very very pigmented. Then I just like to press my finger over it just to take some of like the like the excess off. <laughs> then I'm gonna carve my eyebrows out with the collection Last Imperfection Concealer. And I'm just going to use a big fluffy brush just to blend in that excess. Ugh. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Sorry about that. I honestly have no idea what I'm going to be doing on my eyes today, but I do have the Revolution and Alexa Stone palette out. I was actually thinking of going in with some grey tones, kind of getting some inspo from my shirt. Um or like this shade here because I don't actually think I've used that blue shade yet and it's beautiful. So I think I might actually do my base first, get that all perfected and then we will start on the eyes and then it will give me some time to actually think about what I want to do and everything. So I'll just start on the base first of all. So I'm going to prime my skin first of all with the Revolution Glass Liquid Skin. Absolutely, I love this sweet primer. It just makes the skin look so glowy and dewy. And with it coming in a dropper bottle, I was expecting it to be quite oily and to stay quite oily. But once you actually massage it into the skin, it really does actually dry, but it still maintains like that dew and that glow. This is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I'm in the shade Mont Blanc, by the way. I have no fake tan on at the minute, but I do have a wee bit of bronzer because I do find that once I actually start to get bronze and cream contour, my complexion does does darken a wee bit so I just thought I'd put a wee bit bronzer over my body so we'll see. This is honestly such a beautiful foundation. It definitely is like a medium to full coverage but it has a natural finish. I'll zoom these in a wee bit. I'm so sorry if this is a wee bit too close for comfort. It is such full coverage but your skin still looks like skin. Your skin is still able to like breathe. It's not as if you're wearing like a complete mask like some and most full coverage heavy foundations if that makes sense. It's just, ah, it's just flawless. And then just to conceal, I'm going to be using the ELF 16R Camo Concealer. I think this is the hydrating one. Yeah, so this is the hydrating finish. And it's in the shade Ferros. Again, I'm just going to blend this out, just with the same side that I blended out my foundation with. So guys, how are you as well? I honestly feel like it has been such a long time since I've actually sat down and actually spoken to you guys. I know I haven't been filming as much as I honestly should be and I honestly don't know why, but here's the thing, most of us are all in lockdown. We're all a wee bit like, mm, we have nothing to do, we have nothing to do, but I have to say, 
I thought that this was going to be a time where I was going to be watching so many YouTube videos, posting YouTube videos, filming YouTube videos constantly. And I've been doing none of that. Like, I don't know if you guys are the same, but see, before lockdown and all this happened, I would have watched at least two to three YouTube videos a night. I would have watched some YouTube videos during the day, but see, at the minute, I am watching barely any YouTube videos. I'm obviously still watching, like, my favourites and, like, the odd wee video here and there. But I honestly find that I'm too bored to sit and watch a YouTube video. Like, does that make any sense at all? to anybody. Like, I just kind of find that sitting down and watching a YouTube video is going to be my last resort. Like, I'm too bored to sit and watch a YouTube video with that. I'm trying to do this or that or this or that. I'm trying to find ways to, like, entertain myself before I sit down and watch a YouTube video, if that makes any sense. Ooh, my best is looking flawless. I'm going to go on and cream contour. I'm going to be using this wee Revolution foundation stick. I use the shade F15. That was a lie. Um, F13, sorry. So this one here is a wee bit too dark, but if I just use a wee bit, it is quite nice once I actually start to blend it out. So I'm just going to take this on a stippling brush. Do you know something? Cream contour is honestly one of the best steps in your makeup that you can do. It just... Oh. See, before I cream contour, I just look like a wee... Just like a wee egg, a wee spud. And then to bag, I'm just going to be using the Jeffree Star powder. Is it just called the Jeffree Star powder? I think it is. <laughs> Whoopsies. And it's just the translucent one, by the way. Ooh. Oh, it smells so good. And I'm just going to be taking that just in the wee powder puff. Just going to put... Oh, I can taste it. So I'm just going to bake my chin and my under eyes. Honestly, at this point, if you haven't started baking with a powder puff. What are you doing? <laughs> Obviously everybody has their own preferences I'm sure. No real techniques now have an actual becking powder sponge so that should be quite interesting but <laughs> oh my god I need to stop talking while I'm doing this. <coughs> it just presses the powder into the skin absolutely beautifully so it just really melts in and it just evenly disperses like a really nice amount of product over the skin because I find whenever I was baking with my beauty sponge or my beauty blender that I would have had like a patch here, wee patch here, nothing here, patch here, whatever whereas oh, it's so amazing and then whatever residue of powder I have on my puff <laughs> I'm just going to tap that just around my nose, up between my brows and onto my forehead. So I'm now going to go with the Morphe and Jeffree Star Set and Refresh Setting Spray. I'm just going to quickly finish off my skin. So I'm just going to go in and highlight. I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlight in the shade Precious Petals. Oh, shit. I'm trying my hardest not to highlight my spot. <laughs> Alrighty, so then for my next highlight, <laughs> I'm going to be using MAC uh, Mineralized Skin Finish Soft and Gentle Highlighter. What even? I used to use this highlighter every single day, years ago. Honestly, every single day, and I thought I was absolutely blinding. I thought I was a glowing goddess, but I actually forgot how beautiful this highlighter is. Oh, look at that. It honestly looks like cereal. Why? And then for blush, I'm going to be taking this wee blush from Sephora in this shade, Fascinate It. Next up, I'm just going to go in and bronze the skin again. And I'm going to be using the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Soil. So so soil? Yeah, that one. Um, This wee bronzer here. So if you see my previous video... um. Yeah, so I'm actually uploading my Too Faced video tonight, but by the time this video goes up, it's Sunday. And it's only Tuesday today. But <laughs> anyway, so I actually did use this in my last makeup tutorial that I'm going to be uploading tonight. And it was my full face of Too Faced makeup. And I've had this bronzer now for... I honestly want to say two years because I got this whenever I was in Poland for the first time and I accidentally got the shimmery one instead of the mattifying one. I tried it for the first time in that video and oh my goodness. <laughs> 
it's actually really really beautiful as i was saying there i did have the alexis stone palette there but i actually went through my collection to see what other shadows that i had that were really really cool toned and like kind of like grays and blues and everything so i have this blue moon palette from ColourPop. i think i've used it because this shade in here in the center is used and i think that's actually the shade i'm wanting to use today it's kind of like a the only way I can describe it is like a like a denim blue type of colour. So, uh, what am I going to do with that? So, yeah. I think we'll actually start with something like that. But I'm going to go in with this shade here, first of all. Oh, I don't like these to see anything in my mirror. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go in with this shade here. And I'm going to pop this in my crease. We're literally just winging it at this point, guys. Okay, so I'm just gonna start in the outer corner, in the crease, and I'm just gonna go back and forth and pack that color on before I go in and I start blending at it. I'm just gonna start blending at the outer corner and I'm going to blend it into the inner corner. And I might just go into this shade beside it, just with the same brush. I'm also just going to Just lightly, just like dust that over those edges. This palette is honestly blending out so frigging good. Then I'm going to take this shade here and I mean just like a wee boop boop. <laughs> and I'm going to use this just to darken up the outer corner. I might bring it down onto the lid as well. Do you know, putting on makeup makes me so hungry. So I'm going to take my concealer brush. I'm not going to take any concealer on it because obviously there's excess already on it. I'm going to go in with a shimmer shade now, but I don't want to use my P. Louise Eye Base. I don't want to use a glitter glue or anything like that. But I just want to give this shimmer shade just something that's sticky and tacky to stick to. And then I'm going to take a flat brush. This is going to be great to find a flat brush. Oh, I found one. That was easy enough. And I'm going to go into <laughs> just this shade here. Billie Jean, is it called? Yeah, Billie Jean. And first off, I'm going to take it dry to see how it performs. And I'm just going to pat that just all over the lid. I'm going to clean off that brush and I'm going to go into this shade now. And I'm going to pop that in the inner corner. I'm just going to take that first shade that we took and I'm just going to apply this just along the lower lash line. Might as well just get that out of the way since we're here. Alrighty, so I'm now just going to go in with some lashes and I'm going to be using these lashes from Chloe Morton and they're in the style drama. So that's just what they look like there. I actually did take one off and I just put it along my eye to see how big it was. So I actually need to trim it. So I think I might actually trim a bit of the outer corner because as you can see like this style is slightly more fluffier on the outer corner which is kind of something I'm really looking for at the minute so I'm just going to take a wee nick off the outer corner. Where do you see this? This is currently my MAC lip liner. It is in the shade Spice. <laughs> Not too sure what nude would go with these eyes. So I have these two Lego lipsticks from Just of Colours. And I have the shades Supernatural and Sand. Sand is the lightest one. And then Supernatural is the slightly darker one. I think I might actually do a wee bit of both. So I'm going to do Supernatural all over the lips. And then Sand maybe in the centre. We'll see how it goes. Isn't it crazy how <laughs> apply, applying a pair of lashes can just take your look from here to over there? Like, what? I think I'm going to go with a wee bit more eyeliner on the inner corner. <laughs> this could be a huge mistake, but that's a risk that I'm willing to take. So, zoom in so you can see me feel. Hmm. 
Okay guys, so this completes this makeup tutorial. I hope you all enjoyed. I absolutely love how it turned out. I sometimes find that whenever you go in really blind to a makeup tutorial and you just grab a couple of palettes, it really does kind of get your mind working a wee bit and kind of like forces you to step out of your comfort zone and like maybe just like try different colours and shades and put them together and kind of just see what you come up with. It's actually more fun than actually just sitting down and having a makeup look in your head and trying to recreate it, I think. The other products that I did use into Today's tutorial will be a list and link down below in the description box along with my Snapchat, Instagram and Twitter and also my TikTok so don't forget to follow, and follow me on those. Again thank you guys so so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.